Hello, uh, welcome back to another Lord Fish video. Today we're going to make some simple lockers that are easy to use and look good for any game. Uh, we'll make two different models most likely. I've already done my sizing. You're going to have to reference your own sizing depending on what you're trying to do. If it's for a game or an art project. Start off by having a square. You probably already have one there. I'm just going to change my view. And um, we'll start by stretching it to around the look we want to give our lockers. They're going to be skinny and tall like so. Maybe um, we'll just copy shift uh, D. We'll just copy that. So we have two sitting there. And we'll take one and make it a little bit wider. Okay. And then we're just going to make it a little bit fatter like so. Okay. Then we're going to reach in, grab that other one. And we're just going to make it a little bit shorter to about the size of what you're going to want your door to be. So pause it if you're really specific on the size you need until you're prepared and you have the right size. There's a few different ways we could do this. I'm going to choose this way. I feel like it's going to be the cleanest and the best look. And I'll give you a couple of options on how you want to do it as we go. So I just moved the uh, inner block a little forward for the front edges just sticking out. And I'm going to hit Shift D. I'm going to right click to let it drop back into place. I'm going to click on the outer one now. And I'm going to go to object and I'm going to bool difference. So you're not going to see a difference because there's a piece in the way. But there's now a hole there. So now we're going to take this piece and we're going to shape it slowly into our door. Um, yeah, you know what, let's do this part first. Let's just make it thinner for we have a representation for our door. Okay, something like that. And um, we could probably go to the back edge, hit I. You're going to notice that it's not a very even edge, so we're just going to drag it till it is a little bit more even. And then we're going to hit E and just bring it in the slightest amount. So now it, it's more of a shell of a door, a frame of a door, like a locker would be. It's really thin in the most, most parts. Okay, perfect. So let's move forward. Now, some lockers are not exactly a square like this. Some of them kind of taper back on the back side or even taper forward. So I'm going to show you how you can easily do this with your model. We're going to click on it, hit tab. I'm going to go up here to lines. Sorry, it might be called edges. Edges. And we're just going to click this inner edge. And then we're going to hit shift and click this inner edge. This is how you're going to make your locker the shape you want. You have both of the, the inner edges, so it's it shouldn't mess up. It should just take to the shape you make. You can drag it up if you want them to lean forward like so. You can undo that if you don't like it. You can drag it down if you want it to go that way. It's going to depend on what you're looking for. For now, let's just go with a square locker for what we're after. But I just wanted to throw that in there in case you're trying to make something a little different than you have the options. So we're just going to drag this into place of where we want it to be. Something like that. Might have to go in there a little closer to make sure you're exactly in the place. As you can see, I'm just a hair out of place. Close enough. So now I'm going to just hit S and I'm just going to let it go just a little bit for I can see an edge. Now if we want... We can drag this inner edge in a little bit, but I'm not going to bother doing that, actually. I think it's good enough like that. And then we're going to hit Shift-A, making sure we're not in edit mode by hitting Tab to get out. We're going to make a square. We're going to pull it out. Hit S. We're going to just shrink it a little bit in general. And then we're going to drag the sides down like so. Okay. Leave it this thick um, for the most half. And we'll just go into edit mode on this. And we're just going to grab these edges. Like so. We're going to hit control B. And we're going to drag it out. You may only have one. Um, your, your design may not look exactly the same. And what you're going to have to do is use your mouse scroll to adjust this. To be able to have more or less. Um, I forget what they're called. Uh, contours around it. And uh, you can also adjust it by clicking here, turning the amount you want up. I went with four, but you can turn it up as much as you want. 
and then undoing after, and then when you redo it, it should apply it on them automatically. All right, so that's about right for me. I'm just gonna change it for skinny wise to be a little thinner like so. Okay, probably wondering what I'm making here. Let's take this, make sure you're out of edit mode with tab. You should see what I see over here. And we're just gonna drag this up and we're just gonna punch it into the face here, around there, and then we're gonna hit Shift D. And we're gonna go over here um, sorry, wrong one, this one. And then we're gonna hit minus right here. So now you have the one exactly in the same spot below. So now what we're gonna do is gonna hit Shift E and we're gonna drag this up. So we have two of them in a row. And then we're gonna hit Shift D and we're gonna go down here and add a minus to it. And what we're doing is making a symmetrical build of exactly what we have up here down below us. So it's exactly symmetrical. So take this one, drag it down. You can use this over here to tell exactly how far you're going apart. I would just eyeball it personally. It doesn't have to be exact. Maybe sometimes it even makes it better or not. Then you're going to hit Shift D when you're done and right click to cancel the course. And we're just going to hit minus. So we should be all in place now. Use our little hand to move us down so we can see them all at once. Okay, and then we're gonna click one, two, okay, sorry. Click with your left click and then shift left click. Shift left click, be very careful just to grab these edges. And then when you're done grabbing all six of them, we're gonna grab the door. And then we're gonna go up to object, bool, difference. As you can see, that gives us a perfectly cut in shape on the face. It should be exactly the same top to bottom. And it's just gonna give us a hole for the locker can breathe a little bit. Most lockers have these, at least in North America. I don't know where, where you live, it may not, but this is how they look here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit Shift A, making sure I'm not in edit mode again. And we're gonna hit 90 on the rotation. Oh, this is the wrong one, I'm sorry. And uh, there's a fella who always tells me that you can look at the top and see them, but I never do. I don't know why. I'm always in such a rush, I never take the time. All right, so we're going to hit S, shrink that down, make it thin. Make sure you don't skip over your edges in that spot that I just did there. As you go, you'll see the little string getting shorter. What you want to do is let go and grab it again. If you get too close, you will flip your axes and... Um, the faces will be inside out and you really want to avoid that because it could cause a lot of issues later on with coloring and things like that importing all right so we're going to drag this closer to the door and we're just going to get a better side view for we can see it is inside of the door now we're just going to drag it so it's just on the inside as you just barely see that edge and then we're going to drag it to one side it doesn't matter which side you're going to have to choose what you think is going to work better for you. Um, yeah, so if you want it on that side, maybe you want it in the middle. But I'm going to drag mine to this one side. And when I'm done, I'm going to hit Shift D again. And we're going to drag this out. And when we do, we're going to hit S and shrink it down. And then we're going to go to our scaler. And we're just going to drag it wider again. And you're probably thinking, well, we just did the opposite. Well, this is part of it is you kind of need one to make the other. This is how I would make it anyways. Maybe I did it a backward step there. We'll see. And when you're ready, go up to faces, click off everything, click on the one face, hit S, shrink it down. I'm just going to bring it in just a hair. Okay. Then I'm going to hit I, and I'm just going to go in and just a hair like that. And then I'm going to hit E. And I'm just going to go in just a hair like that. All right. So what I want to do now is attach this to that. Control J. Sorry. Left click, shift left click, control J. And now that is one piece. Okay. So that's going to be our lock. That's going to be a combination lock that you can spin to open. So I guess there's not much more to do on, the, on this locker except for maybe do some coloring. So let's quickly do some coloring. We were going to just attach this to the door. So we're going to click this with left click, then shift left click, then control J. So they're now joined as one. 
And as you can see, they move as one now. They are one. So now we just need to do our coloring. We'll go up here. We'll go down here. And we'll hit tab to make sure we're in edit mode when we're coloring. And we're going to hit plus. And we're going to do new. I'm just going to make this a dark green, being the color that I usually see these things in. You can choose a different color if you like, but I'm just going to use this as a reference because you can change the color once you get into your game. I'm going to click off everything. I'm going to click L over top of this piece. Hit plus, new. I'm going to give this a couple different colors. And again, I'm going to try to represent the colors that I want for I get the look I want, but it doesn't matter because you're going to be able to change this in game. This one, I'm going to do yet another color. I'm going to do it black, but um, I'm going to do two different blacks for I'm able to do um, more coloring options once I get it in the game again. So last step, we're going to click this piece back here with L, making sure that you clicked off everything first. And plus, new. And we'll add the last color to that. Out edit mode, you can see it looks like a, a locker now. We just need to color this back piece. It's going to be one color on this one, so it doesn't really matter, but you can uh, go out edit, edit mode cl and click it. Sorry, like that. And then tap to go into edit mode and then just plus new. And it doesn't have to be the same green. You can just kind of make it the same idea. And it's gonna, already going to have a color set on it anyways when you get into the game. So you'll be able to make this whatever color you want. So you're thinking, well, I have one fish. How do I get more? And if you're trying to make a row or something like that, so what you're going to want to do is shift D like that. Right. And we're going to just drag it out and just have a look at the upper side if you can see it. And there we go. Just giving it a little slightest little gap like that. And then we're going to hit this. Shift D it. And we are going to go here. And I think it'll be this one because it's the only one moved. I guess it's definitely going to be this one. So what we're going to do is take out the minus. Oh, what did I do there? I don't know what I did there. I didn't do it right. Like so. Hit enter. And there you go. Shift D. Take care of the minus, and there we go. We got three in a row. You can do that as much as you want to make as many lockers as you want. You're just going to have to hand bomb the first one. If you figure out the math on it, you can use the math to keep them exactly the same to make sure they look exactly the same. But I think you get the idea. Make sure to give my video a thumbs up today. If you did enjoy it, if it did help you, then it helps me if you give me a thumbs up back in return. Make sure you tell your friends, share it with anybody you, who you think might enjoy it or would, could use the help on the video. Oh, let, let's do one more thing, guys, while we're here. I don't know if we can do them all at once, but let's try to shade smooth them all at once by right-clicking, shade smooth. It looks like it worked, actually. And then we're just going to go to normals, and we're going to click 35 in here. And as you can see, it didn't do them all at once, so we're going to have to do one at a time it looks like like so and we're just gonna make sure oh did the door get done yes yes this door did not so just make sure one at a time that they're all done and if you've already shade smoothed them then you shouldn't have to do them uh, like once you, if you copy this it should be uh, shade smoothed already I should have done it in the first spot but I forgot to be honest and you may have to adjust your sh shade smooths too. Just be sure not to go above 70. You have to go above 35 and below 70. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of other issues. But I think we're looking uh, pretty awesome now. And I think it's uh, exactly what you guys are probably going to want for your games. Obviously, these may not be the color schemes. But you'll be able to change these in-game. Um, the only th other thing I could think is if um, you wanted a padlock on your door instead of a combination lock. In which case, uh, if you can't figure it out, leave a comment in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. If this has helped you today and you want to thank me, let, you can leave a comment again and make sure you fire up the thumbs up again and we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.